Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, we are going to look at how to scan our Docker image using the DevSecOps tool, Trivi. So far, from our pipeline, we are able to check out the GitHub, install some tools, be able to install dependencies and test our code, build the Docker image, push it to Docker Hub, install kubectl, and use that to deploy our app to Minikube cluster. After I build the Docker image and push it, I want to scan it to see if there are any vulnerabilities in our, in our code or in our Docker image. So that's why we need the tool Trivi. There are several ways of going about this. You can use the Trivi as a patch to build a new Jenkins container that you can start with from scratch or since we already have our Jenkins container running docker ps this is our Jenkins container what I will do instead is I'll go in there using docker exec interactive mode then my container name is that you can also use the container id which is this right here and I'm gonna use bin bash so I'm inside the Jenkins container currently these are the roots directories. So I will install the Trivi. I already have the command here, so I'll copy it and paste it in here. So you're using curl. Use a GitHub repo to install Trivi. Press enter. Now, when I do Trivi dash dash version, you see something here. Okay, let's go to a browser and I'll search for Trivi scanner. Okay, so these are the commands for installing Trivi. So this is the script that I used. Let's run that. Installed correctly. Okay, so it's installed. Uh, if I do a Trivi version, so Trivi is successfully installed. I'm going to get out of the Jenkins container with the command exit. Let me clear the screen. And then I will do a Docker restart of the Jenkins container. Let's refresh the page. Sign in. So Jenkins is back up. Uh, let's go to our Jenkins file. So before I push the Docker image to Docker Hub, I'm going to add an extra stage in here. At that stage, would be to perform a Trivi scan of our Docker image. Then, of course, you can use shell or script. Our shell command is going to be Trivi. Then you specify the image that you want to scan. So, calling it Docker image. So, let me Take this, paste it in here. Let's keep it as it is for now. Save this. So our changes have been pushed. Jenkins file. You should see Trivi scan right here. All right, let's go to Jenkins and build this Jenkins job one more time. Console. Okay, so you can see that Trivi started scanning.
okay so it's filled due to the image name I couldn't parse it let me look at the Jenkins file again so instead of the docker image I'll just use the same thing here So this will pick up the Docker Hub repo and target as latest. Let's put the changes. Let's do a new build. Go to the console. And as you can see here, you see that when we build the Docker image, this is the final name and tag. And so the reason I had to replace that is because TV scans exactly the same Docker image that we just built up to. So you can see there are low, zero low, zero medium, zero high, zero critical vulnerabilities in our app. So it's good. And then it's carried on to do the rest that we've already done in the past pushing it to Docker Hub and then deploying the application on Kubernetes. So everything is a success here. We can just stop here, but I want to add some more stuff to the command for the trivi. You can see that on Jenkins, when you run the trivi command, it generated this output. Now, sometimes this output will be a lot on this log. So it's, it's a good practice to put some limit on it. Take for instance, we can only limit it to say severity. So this would only catch certain vulnerabilities that you specify, whether it's high or critical, you can add medium, you can add low. So you can see these are the options. But for now, I'm adding only high and critical and separate them with commas. Another thing also is you can let the scan stop in case there's a high or critical vulnerability in our app. And for that, you can add the flag dash dash no progress to your trivia command. Next, you can specify that trivia is actually scanning a Docker image by adding image. And then we can also save the output of the trivia scanning this outputs and as i mentioned earlier sometimes it can be a lot for the output on this jenkins console so it's always best to save it to some file now for that you can save it in a certain format you can save it as a table and then i'm gonna save it to a file let's call it trivia scan report.txt Let's save this. Save the changes to GitHub. Changes have been pushed. Let's try one more build. Build now. Okay, so that was a success. And you can see this is the command that we just ran. Okay. So you can see this is our workspace. Now, if you scroll down, you will see Trivi scan report. That was exactly the file that we wrote our Trivi scan report to. It's a txt file that you can easily download and then check on the report for the Trivi scan. By the way, if you check kubectl get all after the scanning, everything is deployed successfully here, right?
and that's our node port now if you watch my the previous video i uploaded about ssh tunneling you can see you can use localhost the node port slash hello okay thanks for joining me on this video please like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i'll see you on the next one